Hi, I'm Ron Jones. I'm here in the Revision House in Las Vegas. This is a 1960s vintage tract house uh, that we have done a deep energy retrofit on. And I'm talking about inside and out. This house is like brand new. Um, I'm here with Pat Gaylor. And Pat is the interior designer who's responsible for all the great looks and uh, the things that are important to sustainability and green building on the interior of this project. Now, Pat, I think I know a little bit about green building and sustainability. And I think I know a lot about the energy aspects of the building envelope and uh, heating and venting and air conditioning. I know about renewable energy, about windows and patio doors, and lots of the things that we look at from a structural or a mechanical standpoint. But I have to tell you, I don't feel like I'm that well informed on many of the aspects of interior design when it comes to sustainability and green building. So I wonder if you could share a little bit with me because I know that you've done a marvelous curriculum piece for Green Builder College about interior design and it deals with new construction as well as retrofit. But here in the Vision House, in the Revision House in Las Vegas, um, there are a couple of things here that I'd like for you to talk about. What about this uh, beautiful countertop material that we see here in the kitchen? And then maybe you could tell us a little bit about the appliances too. What's the story on this? This is a quartz countertop from DuPont, from their Zodiac collection. This is the Terra line. Terra? Terra. Okay. And this has uh, up to 25% recycled content. So this is not just a natural slab of stone? It isn't. Oh, this, this is, is beautiful. This is quartz. Um, wow. One of the reasons that I like this material so much is that it's not a slab and that it's not sort of sliced and taken out of the earth. Quartz is, a, is, as you know, is a, um, a mineral that is mined in clusters and it's very plentiful in this mm -hmm. country. So um, it's mixed together um, to create this incredibly beautiful um, countertop, which is also, um, it, it doesn't have any um, veining or anything like that. It, it, it's very uniform. Um, the color of this, I think, goes very well with, with this revision house that we're doing with that mid-century sort of look. It's gorgeous. Um, and it's also Green Guard certified mm. um, for good indoor air quality. Now, as you know, in, in green building, the outside envelope of the house becomes very energy efficient, very tight by, by virtue of the foaming or the insulation that's being used. So what that does is create a very tight interior air quality. So um, whatever we put in the home is going to affect what we're going to be breathing. And that's been a concern with solid surfaces ever since we started using them, is the fact that there was a, an amount of off-gassing that wasn't necessarily desirable. Well, that and the fact that any slab material has to have a sealer over it, a chemical ah. sealer. This does not require a chemical sealer of any kind. So um, it's you know, inert when it comes to your house, and this is the way it, it stays. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to seal it. And it's very strong. As a matter of fact, it's stronger than, than, than regular stone. Really? So it's, so yeah. it's durable, it's easy yeah. to maintain, and it's got the environmental qualities that you're looking for. It's just a great, it's a great look. It's a great product. And it's also readily available at home centers and kitchen centers and things like that. So it's not exotic. You don't have to, to really be a, a designer to, to know how to find no, this. No, no. So, so a, a couple of real win-win situations about, about this particular product. Oh, very The fact that it's not mined, the fact that it has good indoor air quality, and also it's, it's made um, in, in this country. So we don't have the embodied energy of shipping it around the globe. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So again, that, that to me is, is a real win-win situation. And, the, and the, the waste product from the actual process itself, I understand that that's just rolled right back into new product. Right, exactly. That's why they use the name Terra, because there's a recycled mm. content uh, yeah. in this. So um, it's great product. Very nice. Well, I know that one of the most important aspects of interior design, and especially in the context of, of sustainability, uh, is the plant selection. And it's not only because of energy use, uh, but water use as well. So right. the, you're looking for beautiful product, you're looking for durability. These are supposed to be long lasting uh, products that will serve for many years. Right. Uh, what about the selections that you've made for the Revision House in the major kitchen appliances? The appliances are from KitchenAid. Okay. Um, they're Energy Star rated. The refrigerator is Energy Star rated, as well as the dishwasher. A couple of things we all know about the Energy Star program. Um, it was one of the first energy programs that, you know, that premiered 
years ago. People are very familiar with that, and there's a big yellow sticker when you go into a store, so you can monitor how much energy. Oh, so you can compare uh, how the performance of that against other models. Exactly. Okay. And you know, in terms of also the look that you're going for, how much money you want to pay, it's all at all different levels. I see. The appliances in this particular house are extremely energy efficient. Um, the refrigerator is probably the most um, energy usage in the appliance field mm -hmm. and in the home. So you want to get a refrigerator that is extremely energy efficient. Um, there are different tiers as well to the levels of energy. You can read more about on the Energy Star website. But the particular refrigerator that we chose has a very high energy rating. Now the dishwasher that I selected for the home has two drawers instead of one door. Yeah, I noticed that. Tell me about that. Well, the reason that I like these so much is that you can just do, if you have a half a load of, of let's say, breakfast dishes, you don't have to wait all day to run them. You can run them in, in, in basically half the amount of energy and water used. But still, it looks roomy. I mean, you have enough room for, for large vessels and that sort of thing. Right, and it has all, all the you know beautiful settings that, that any of the other any of the other models have. But you're saving water and you're saving energy by just segmenting what you need. You can run both at once. You can run separately. You know that sort of thing. You don't have to have your dishes sitting all day mm. long. So it's a great product. It gives you a chance to segregate, uh, let's say, um, delicate. Um, uh, glassware, right. perhaps, from heavier, heavier soil, the materials exactly. and that sort of thing. Exactly, if you're having so, a fancy so, dinner. So this not only saves energy, but it, it saves water. And, and, and that's especially critical in places like Las Vegas and desert areas. But, but it's actually a fact that all around the country, there are many areas that actually have critical water so shortages, not just here in the West. It's true. Water conservation is a big issue right now, and it's only going to become larger. Absolutely. So the water conservation features that we have in this house, especially in Las Vegas, we are in the desert. I wanted to make sure that all the water that we use in the house is uh, monitored very carefully and used very carefully. So mm -hmm. the WaterSense program from the EPA, which is also responsible for the Energy Star program, has a little droplet of water symbol on boxes when you buy toilets mm -hmm. or faucets. And this is your assurance that you're getting a product that performs very well and it performs with the least amount of water and the, and the best performance. So it will perform, but it'll save that precious water resource and stretch that so that we, we have enough to go around. Exactly. Uh, dual flush toilets um, are, were installed in this house and um, they are really a boon to um, the industry in terms of the water usage. There's two separate settings on the toilet itself. One is for a liquid and one is for a solid. So the liquid is below a gallon. So if you're, you're, you know, if you just need to use it in that particular sense, just for liquid waste, just press the liquid button. You're, you're, you're saving hundreds of thousands of gallons a year on a family of four by, by um, switching to a dual flush toilet, which is very affordable. They're under, they're three or $400. It's a no brainer. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. The, the faucets in the home are also water sense certified and they're a gallon and a half per minute instead of two and a half gallons. And they feel like mm. two and a half gallons by the way the water droplets are configured. They go through a lot of rigorous testing in order to get this water sense um, certification. So um, a lot of times people don't even know mm. that the amount of water has been reduced. It, comes, it feels the same. So you're reducing the water flow by 40%, but it feels the same and it behaves the same and rinses you clean. And, exactly. And I mean, you know, the words low flow, you know, don't have a negative connotation. You don't have to take a Navy shower where you stop the water, <laughs> that sort of thing. Everything is um, configured so you'll get the, 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 the best feel, like you're getting a really good, you know, heavy shower and using less water, which is so important also with families that have yeah, teenagers and heavy water users. Well, it's really critical. It will become more and more critical to uh, respect that water resource uh, and also to marry that with the uh, highest performance in energy use possible. Yes, and we love doing it here at the Revision House. And uh, it was a, just a wonderful project. I enjoyed doing it, and I'd like to thank you. Oh, not at all. It's our pleasure. And uh, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that if they want to get more in-depth information about this, uh, they need to go to Greenbuilder College and look at the uh, curriculum that you've provided on interior design. 
Uh, it is uh, going to be valuable information for anybody if they're thinking of building new, if they're thinking of remodeling, if they're retrofitting a house like we've done here. Uh, just a wealth of information. Thank you so much. Thank you.